Did you say why the Dolphins? Yes. Well, you know, got a couple offers and uh, really believe in what Coach Flores is building and doing here and, um, you know, kind of want to get in and help him build it. So I'm, I'm really excited. Hopefully get down there soon. I uh, hope everyone's well, by the way. I'm looking forward to meeting you all. Um, but, uh, yeah, looking forward to getting down and getting to work, meeting the guys and a brand new adventure. Steve Wine, you're up. Ted, congratulations. Uh, Thank you. What are your thoughts about uh, this group uh, of free agents that you are part of? It's a large group. The Dolphins obviously made a big investment. Um, what kind of impact do you think you all collectively can make? Well, it's been great. I know a lot of guys coming in, uh, Kyle Van Noy, um, Alandon, obviously from the Patriots. And then I played college football with Clayton Fedulum. And then uh, we were in uh, rookie camp together with Kamu Grugier Hill. So a lot of, a lot of familiar faces, a lot of t talent coming in. I know Shaq Lawson from uh, combine training. So I'm looking forward to getting to work with these guys. Um, it's going to be an exciting year. I'm, I'm pretty pumped up. Obviously I'm just going to, you know, focus on what I need to do to, to help the team win some games and that's working hard however I can. And, uh, you know, getting, getting to know these guys and mesh together as a, as a, as a team. It's kind of like a, a whole nother class coming in. It's pretty exciting stuff. Cameron Wolf, you're up. Hey, Ted, what's up, man? Uh, what do you remember about Flo when he was down there with New England? And uh, do you have any good Flo stories? I don't know if I have any good Flo stories. I know I compete against him a lot. You know, my first couple of years had to, I was, uh, you know, a uh, six-man reserve scout team guy. So I competed against him a lot, really. You know, we got after it, um, got after his defense, and he's intense and, and prepares to win and knows what he's doing, and I, I, uh, I really respect that a lot. He actually played with a couple guys from my high school at BC, so that's kind of how we started talking, um, but developed a, pr a pretty decent relationship, and I, I really liked what, you know, he did last year and um, really respect Coach Flores, and I'm, I'm glad to be uh, in his organization. Ruthie, you're up. Hi, Ted. Good to see you. Um... What has Brian told you about the culture that he's building in Miami? And do you feel like there are any similarities um, based on what you experienced in New England and maybe some differences? I don't know if he's told me anything explicitly about what, you know, the culture he's trying to build. You know, I think just going off his personality and what I saw on film and, and what I've, you know, read and heard, uh, it's, it's going to be fairly similar to, you know, what we were about in New England. I think the biggest things would just be preparing to win, you know, being tough uh, and, and trying to go out there and win as many games as we can. I think that, you know, inherently that's what he's about. And that's, you know, one of the main reasons that I decided to come down and, and be a Miami Dolphin. I'm really, really looking forward to, you know, working with him again and, and getting, some, getting some work done. Chris Perkins. Hey, um, Ted, I'm, I'm wondering, when you look at uh, interior offensive line, in New England, you guys didn't seem to have highly drafted guys. Maybe uh, Thune might have been the highest pick, right, the, at third round. What, what is the key to building a, a, the interior offensive line? Is it skill? Is it coaching? What is it? Well, I think a little bit has to do with skill and just you know, and also hard work. Um, I, I do have to give a lot of credit in my own career. I, you know, I can only speak for myself. D Dante Skarnecchia really uh, made me an, ex an exceptionally better football player than I was. Uh, four years of, of working under him uh, really, really benefited me. But I think, you know, guys take it upon themselves to try and get better. We work hard every day. And um, there's obviously a toughness aspect. And a lot of things go into it. And, um, you know, I'm hoping that I can, you know, you know, help bolster this interior offensive line and, and uh, have some success down here as well. Adam Beasley. How have you been impacted by coronavirus? Where are you right now? Uh, how much you've been able to leave the house and, and what do you think of what's going on in the world? Well, it's crazy. I hope you guys are all safe and your families are safe. I'm, I'm here just a little town right outside of Foxborough. Um, I'm just working out. My neighbor's got a rack in his garage uh, right across the street. I'm just running up and down the street. I'm doing band workouts. I'm doing anything I can to get it done. Um, it's pretty crazy. I hope it calms down soon so I can get down there and, and get to work. I'm really excited to meet meet the guys. That's my favorite part about football is being on a team with, you know, 50, 60 guys. So I'm, I'm really looking forward to meeting some new people and, and getting to work. Steve Wine. Ted, you were part of the uh, Patriots' long reign in this division. Uh, how much does the balance of power change with the uh, 
the Patriots quarterback going to Tampa Bay now. How much of an opening does it create for the other teams? Well, I think just about as much opening as any, you know, any other time that, you know, and every year and it's a new season, you know, everyone's coming in, working hard for, you know, we're coming together for six months and then try to win as many games as we can out of, out of 16. And, you know, we got as good of a shot as, as anybody else in the division, but it's going to take hard work and dedication. We're going to have to come together and, and really buy in and, and, and work our hardest to, you know, get better every day if we can do that. And, you know, we have just as much of a shot as the other three teams in this division. Cameron Wolf. Hey, Ted, I want to ask you, I know that there was a narrative about the Dolphins early on last season that they were tanking or whatnot, but you guys got to play them twice. What did you see in that team by the end of the season? And uh, did you, you know, through improvement or otherwise? Well, yeah, I mean, the obvious improvement being, you know, they came up, we lost uh, the last game. Um, but, you know, even in both games, you know, big tough guys on the D-line, um, Obviously, a stout defense, very, you know, similar scheme to what we were doing. But, you know, it's a tough, you know, any anytime you play, you know, uh, I felt Coach Flores' teams, you know, coming in, even even when he was the D, D coordinator here, it's going to be a tough day for, you know, guys on the inside, you know, a lot of a lot of head and a lot of guys covered up. And, um, you know, they're a tough team. And that was a, that was, that was a tough loss for us. So I, I have a lot of respect for, you know, when when they came up and, you know, New Year's Eve in New England came up and beat us. So that was a, you know, that earned a lot of respect for me. So I'm, I'm looking forward to being part of a team with, with those guys. Ruthie? Ted, what was your reaction to Tom leaving? Well, I'm very happy for him. Uh, Tom Brady is you know, a personal favorite of mine. Always was amazing to me and uh, obviously a great athlete, great person. I think he's one of the best ever and um, who I learned a lot of about football from him, but also about being a man, a father, and a, you know, a human being in this league. And I'm very happy for him. He deserves everything he gets. And I, I wish him luck and success. And um, I'm sure, I'm sure he'll have some. So I'm looking forward to seeing what happens. Steve one. How many video conferences have you done and uh, what's your reaction to doing it this way? Well, you know, I'm actually pretty, um, well, versed in Zoom, before this, I was actually watching a lecture on Zoom. I'm finishing up my degree from Indiana University, my Master's of Business Administration. So I'm pretty pretty well versed in Zoom. It's not bad. Um, it's it's kind of like everyone's on a, on a football offseason now. Everyone's home. This is kind of, you know, it wouldn't be too much, that much different for me, except now we just can't even leave anyway. But just, uh, yeah, finishing up school, and I don't mind doing it this way, but I'm, I am looking forward to meeting you guys and shaking your hands when that is socially acceptable again um, and working with you guys. Uh, it's always ex <laughs> exciting to meet new people, and I'm, I'm looking forward to meeting you guys and working together. Now we're going to go to Travis. It was a question from one of our fans. <clears throat> hey, what's going on, Ted? This one comes from Gabriel Lopez. He wants to know, what's your opinion of Brian Flores? Well, I think he's a smart, tough coach um, who prepares to win, brings in guys that he thinks share his vision and, and his toughness and his drive to compete and win. And um, I'm very much looking forward to practicing and playing in his organization. 